At its core, Verdun sounds like a great and tactical take on World War I, as it focuses more on slow-paced strategical trench warfare. These ideas are interesting and innovative, but it is at its execution where Verdun falls back. Verdun is a World War I-based, first-person multiplayer shooter, where its main and most interesting mode, Frontlines, focuses on territory warfare, where players need to attack enemy and neutral territories in order to obtain that land, and enemy factions can counterattack and gain that piece of land. It makes for interesting, slow-paced, and rewarding combat, and it is the game's definitely most redeemable quality. Other modes can say the same as they're mostly all variations on the same standard modes than one can expect from modern first-person shooters. These don't succeed as much as Frontlines, since the game peeling mechanics of the game are nearly as good as most other first-person shooters. Moving the character has some strange caveats, for example. Moving forwards and backwards feels perfectly fine, but moving side to side is noticeably slower, and it simply feels wrong. Camera movement is also very strange as an out-of-place momentum system can suddenly go from moving the camera very slowly to going extremely fast and being disorienting. Menus are average at best, upgrade systems aren't very, very well explained, and the whole thing just feels very confusing out of the gate. Loading times can be very long, and the game has some serious draw distance issues, as sometimes the not very pretty looking textures don't load until the player is basically inches away from them. The music is one of the better parts of the presentation though, as it feels the overall tone of the game pretty well. But here is where Verdun goes from a pretty okay game to something worse, on the te technical side of things. Shooting often feels unfair, as it sometimes feels like the game isn't recognizing hits that were clearly accurate and, worst of all, there is no way of knowing where a player is taking damage where under fire. The screen just goes to black and white and your character suddenly dies. Servers are more empty than not, mainly because the game drops significant frames when more than one enemy is on screen. And not only that, but when the frame rate drop under 20 frames per second, the game stops recognizing commands altogether, leaving players with no choice other than to die alone and in less frames per second than possibly acceptable. Sadly. Despite some very interesting ideas and concepts, the PlayStation 4 version of Verdun can only be described as a technical mess. Frame rate drops, commands not being recognized, cumbersome menus and upgrade systems, and strange movement mechanics are what make this game fall from an okay to good status to being just a straight up mess.